DALA E3 can now create coloring books. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about that, stick around to the end. Hey, I'm Henry and I'm from Product Creation Formula. And here at Product Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks to better help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews, as well as tips on how to make money online. So if that's the sort of thing that interests you, have you smash the like button, as well as subscribe and also hit the bell icon, so you can be notified when we upload more videos. All right guys, let's go check it out. Okay, so here we are over in ChatGPT. Now we need to be able to make sure that you are a member of ChatGPT Plus to be able to do this, because you need to be able to get into the plugins. Now you need to go over here to ChatGPT 4, and then go over here to DALI 3, and you click on that, and that's now ready to be turned into some images. Now, let's now do a prompt, which is going to then place, create a coloring page for us. I'll quickly give it a quick read for you so you understand what's about. Create black and white coloring page. No color, no shading. Cartoon style of a dragon standing in a forest. Behind the dragon is a castle on a hill. The dragon has wings. Friendly looking dragon, aspect ratio 916 no shading now no aspect ratio is literally the portrait style so let's now just click on this and while it's creating i will just pause it until it has finished okay so here are some of the images that it's created this is absolutely beautiful as you can see it does have a little bit of shading in this one but i'm sure you can still get away with using this in a coloring book if you wish to now, I'll leave the prompts in the description box down below so you can copy and paste them and use them yourself. And you can just change the wording to how you want. Now, let's go. On. Now, if you want to, and you want to be able to create a similar sort of thing, but in different styles, all you can do is say, uh, continue creating more images like this. And it will then begin to create more images. Once again, we'll pause it to see what the next lot's going to be like. Okay, here's another lot. Here's another lot you can try. Very similar sort of looking dragons, which are nice friendly looking dragons, castle on a hill, forest and so forth. But have a look at this. It turned it to the side. Just be careful, this does sometimes do that. It does sometimes turn it to the side. Now I've got another prompt here. We can try this and we'll see what this particular one is going to do. Hopefully it won't turn too many of them to the side like that. Now, create a black and white coloring page, no color, no shading. Cartoon style of a unicorn standing in a forest. Behind the unicorn is a princess. Friendly looking unicorn. Aspect ratio 916. No shading. So as you can see, all I did was just change a couple of little details and I kept the rest of it like that. And this way it could be create you can create anything you want with that, as long as it's a cartoon style. And I'll pause it until it's finished. Okay, so have a look at this. It actually turned it into a more well, if you were to turn that onto the side. That it would be more like a 16 by 9 rather than 9 by 16 but either way you could still use this as a flip page if you wanted to be able to have the pages facing this way and as you can see the princess is in the woods behind the unicorn which is fantastic she it's a little bit shaded which is a shame but that's okay so you could use something like that if you wanted to now you can also ask it to make sure that it uses a portrait style and let's have a look and say please make this a vertical portrait style image and just hit enter and see how it goes once again we'll pause it and see what it's like okay well it does appear to be struggling with this probably because i have more than one thing in the image but over here i had a castle as well so that shouldn't have been a major problem if you have a look over here you'll see it's got castles and so forth so that shouldn't have been a major problem because i had a, two things in the image a dragon plus a castle on a hill in the background and the same with this one and this one had as well but it was a bit different so and all of these have been turned to the side which is a bit of a shame but that's okay now let's try something a little bit different well i've simplified it in this particular case what i did was create a black and white coloring page no coloring no shading cartoon style of a mermaid sitting on a rock there is a crab sitting on the rock next to the mermaid aspect ratio 916 no shading and we will now see what this is like. So we'll just pause it one more time. Okay, it's a bit different. It looks like it's giving us two responses in this particular case. So we'll see what it comes up with in a minute. Okay, now it appears it wants me to be able to judge which one is better. Okay, so this one here's got two mermaids. This one hasn't got a crab on the rock, but this one does have a crab near it. This one here's just hair and a, and a crab. <laughs> and this one here is just a mermaid sitting on a rock. So I would say, Image number two. So it's asking me a question. 
So I will say image two. And then that one. And it's now going to create it like that. Now, this is the sort of thing you can do. Now, of course, if you want to, depending on the theme that you're using, you can also get it to create colored images as well. So let's now go get this one and turn it into a colored image. I'm just going to copy that and we'll just change some of these details. So I'll just this in here and then I'm just going to pause the video till I change some details. OK, so all I've done was I've said create a colored image for the front cover of a coloring book. Vibrant, bright colors, cartoon style of a mermaid sitting on a rock, aspect ratio 16, 9. And we'll have a look and see what it does. Right, once again, we'll be back. Now, what I said here was I just said create a colored image for a front cover of a coloring book. Bright, vibrant colors, cartoon style of one mermaid sitting on a rock, aspect ratio 16, 9. And we'll just hit that and we'll see what it does. I'll be right back. Okay, so as you can see, it's put it to the side like this. This one here is the only one that really matched it, but it's not very, doesn't have any background. It's just her sitting on a rock and nothing, no sky, no waves, no water behind her or anything like this. This is lovely, but I don't know if it's really appropriate for a coloring book, but it does look really, really nice. So there are some here that you could probably use, but I'm going to actually say, make it one mermaid in the image and I'm also going to say, put the aspect ratio vertical. I'll pause the video until I've written this. Okay, so what I put was, put one moment on the cover, make it a vertical image where she is vertical going down the length of the page. Behind her is the ocean and the sky. Aspect ratio 916. I should say vibrant colors and bright colors. And all we have to do now is hit enter and see how it goes. Once again, we'll be right back. Okay, so they have one going down the page, but they put two images of there on the same page, which is a shame. Wasn't quite what I was after. These are beautiful images, don't get me wrong, but they're just facing the wrong way. But what you could do with this in this particular case is use this for a calendar, a wall calendar. That You could use this easily for a wall calendar because it's basically the same aspect ratio. And if you wanted to, you could then turn that into a printed wall calendar that you could sell on Etsy or places like that. But you can then turn this into black and white images, cover images for your coloring pages. And if you wanted to, you could also turn them into calendars. All right, guys, if you got some value out of this video, how about you smash the like button, as well as subscribe, and also hit the bell icon so you can be notified when we upload more videos. Hey, while you're at it, why don't consider sharing and also leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of this aspect of Dali. Now, right here is a video I believe you might like. Down here is a video YouTube thinks you might like. And right here is an image of my head. Now, if you click on that, you'll be able to subscribe. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and bye for now.